We are at the coach and listening to the stage coach band, Phil Round, Christine Langdon, Ed Domer, Derek Huffsmith, and Bill Briggs. Um, and they're here to uh, do a little fundraiser for JHME, Jacksonville Music Experience, which is the organization that puts on rock, rock camp. We agreed to do this fundraiser more officially on Father's Day, closer to the camp. The camp this year is July 12th through 16th and we have a goal of raising $5,000. This is the first of, of what I hope to be many annual Father's Day fundraisers for Rock Camp Scholarship Fund. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce a special guest. Uh, Mike Keegan is coming up to sing a uh, long time running. I am just a big supporter of Rock Camp because the greatest joys of my life have been in bands as I played throughout my life. And I saw this opportunity for my son to experience playing the drums not only with his lessons, but then getting involved and sharing the experiences of being in a band and performing live. And so I've just thought the Rock Camp is one of the greatest things that's ever been done in Jackson. If you're someone that enjoys rock and roll, who's so, someone who enjoys seeing children taking music to a higher level and then allowing them the venue to perform, please give to the Jackson Hole Music Experience. Come to the Rock Camp concert at the end of the week and see what these kids have done. It's remarkable and you will not regret it. Charlie Keegan on the drums. Um, we have, for a long time, focused our program on middle school and high school age students. Um, but last year, we had uh, the idea to open it up to adult campers, too. And we had five or six come and have a band, and they call themselves the Geezer Lounge. And, the Geezer Lounge is no longer going to be so much of a band, but a concept. And we're going to have open it up to uh, people um, of all ages, pretty much from middle school on up. One of the people that had a great time and is coming back again this year is the Stagecoach Band's own Christine Langdon, who is a professional musician of the highest caliber, has been playing and entertaining crowds here locally for 20 years or more. And she came as a student last year, and she's coming back. So that sort of speaks to the range of material we can cover. Roughly one-third of the 60 students who come to our camp will be needing some sort of financial assistance of some kind. It's a big fundraising mission for us, but we believe we've got the best music camp in the Rocky Mountains, and we're working on expanding it to include orchestra and band.